It's a new year and it's a new you. And you might just be wondering to yourself, is 2024 the best time to move to Danby, Virginia? I mean, moving in and of itself is already a stressful task. But then you're talking about moving to another town, another city, which might be totally opposite of what you're used to or where you've been living for uh, the last several years, maybe where you grew up and possibly smaller than where you are right now. But in this video today, I wanna give you the top five reasons why I think moving to Danville, Virginia is a good decision. My name is David Totten. I'm a licensed agent here in Virginia and North Carolina. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome, uh, happy new year. Uh, what I'd like you to do is subscribe, turn on those notifications, so you're the first to learn about the market right here in Danville, Virginia. My team and I, we get calls and texts every day from people just like you. So we like to help you make a smooth move to this area. Again, in this video today, we're gonna talk about the top five reasons why I believe moving to Danville, Virginia is a good idea. Reason number one is the community revitalization efforts that are going on in this city right now. When you think about revitalization in an area, we can't talk about, if you're in Danville, we can't not talk about the River District, which is downtown. We cannot not talk about new apartments that are being constructed here in the area. We have to talk about the new community that just got approved by city council a few days ago um, that will boast their over 200 brand new single family houses. And we can't talk about the shops and restaurants downtown when we're talking about community revitalization. So when we think about the River District, the River District is the heart of the city. Way back when, you know, in the early 80s up till the, the early 2000s, this was a textile heavy community. Textile was the boom. We had the largest textile mill in the United States. But around 2002, 2003, the textile mills and community just dissipated, which left Danville high and dry. So what has happened is the River District Association, they have followed this um, this model, which the city just earned an, a prestigious award last year uh, for the Main Street, um, the Main Street effort that they're following. So what has happened since then, my friends, is the River District downtown has seen over close to, uh, let's say close to, $500 million in public and private investment that is, you know, capital projects, that is new businesses, which, you know, downtown has added 50, no, 150 plus new businesses and added over 1,200 residential units. They've converted a lot of the old uh, tobacco warehouses downtown and some of the meals into residential living. So there are lofts, there are condos, there are apartments. And what also is happening is the old Dan River Mill number eight is being converted and this project is on schedule into the new Dan River Falls, which will be a 150 unit complex and hosting over 140,000 square feet of commercial space. So what they're doing is they're adding one to three bedroom units that will range from the low 1000s up to about $1,500 a month. And they're poised to be done with that project at the end of the fourth quarter this year. So kudos to the Alexander Company. Um, they're out of Wisconsin and they, are, they have partnered um, with the city of Danville to bring this project to life and invest $85 million into the project. They're also adding a riverfront park, which is another $14 million project that will allow us, the residents, and with all the attention and attraction coming downtown, they're putting this park out there, which will have you know splash pads. There will be an amphitheater for concerts. They're building a pier out into the Dan River that you can walk out there. Um, the Alexander Company is also redoing the Sky Bridge that will take you from Memorial Drive over to Riverside Drive. So that's gonna 
be able to connect the the river rock the the trails the parks um, it's a huge effort and one last feature that they're doing is a white water rafting feature on the canal side of the building and if you're not familiar with it you should see some video and photos coming up now uh, of what the plan is that they want to do but we have a lot of we have a lot of development going on in the city um, there is a new 195 unit apartment complex that is being constructed. Uh, it will have over nine acres of land and uh, you might see um, a dog park, but I do know the amenities at that facility will include a game room, uh, a pool hall, and a conference room. So those are going to be one to three bedroom units uh, that project is going to have about uh 20 million invested into it those rents are going to be between 1200 a month to 1500 a month they're going to be right on stewart street actually which is right across the street from sober health our hospital you have the casino one mile one way and you have downtown one mile the other way so this is gonna be prime location. And I know that this is gonna be a big deal because Stewart Street is right off of Central Boulevard or South Main Street and the intersection of Main Street. So we're looking forward to that. And then city council just approved, they just approved 100 acres, a new development that's coming. Now this development is gonna be you know, over by um, Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company on Jenny Lane. This development is going to have about 200 single family new construction homes because an issue that we have here in the city is the fact that we're short housing units, um, which would be another segment in the video, but we have a ton of jobs coming to this area and we haven't seen new construction in this area at this scale in over 20 plus years. So kudos to the company. I won't name names right now. You can do your research and find out who it is, but I'm not gonna call it out because there are some other steps that we have to take. Um, but that is gonna be super exciting for this area. So reason number two, why I think you should move to Danville, Virginia is, I mean, the culture and the history of this town. Southern hospitality at its best. Yes, ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, no sir. This is a neighborhood where you go to church, a community where you go to church on Sunday and then you go to grandmama house and you eat dinner, Sunday dinner. I don't know if you remember that, um, the way the times have changed, uh, you know, football. This is a laid back community. People love to be out and about, especially when it warms up and you'll always see a friendly and smiling face. So this is a place where you can come to and a stranger will walk up to you and say, hello, how are you? And uh, shake your hand and start up a conversation because that's just, that's the charm of the South. You know, we, we are very, very lovable, very communal. So we like to get together. You know, you might high five a stranger that you don't know um, at a restaurant watching a football game or a basketball game. But that is just the history of this area. We, and our locality is, is another one. You know, we are so close to um, DC, Richmond, the beaches, the mountains. You can get anywhere out of Danville, Virginia within four to five hours. So you can go north, south, east, west, and find a ton of things to do and still come right back home to a hello neighbor, how are you? Number three on our list is the growing economy of Danville, Virginia, the comeback city. Now, what we are starting to witness is, and this is, this is, this is data and facts that we're being told. We have 3,900, yes, 3,900 new jobs coming to this area this year alone. And those will be in manufacturing um, and healthcare and um, entertainment, just to name a few. 
because one big project that I know you have heard about time and time again is Caesars Casino. And Caesars Casino is on target to finish their project by the end of this year. I rode by the site the other day. The hotel is vertical. You know, the cranes are out, the, the, the bottom floors of the windows have started to go in, and a lot of tourism is coming to this area. You have Tyson's, who just opened their $300 million facility at the end of 2023. They opened their new plant and added 400 jobs to this area. Now, you also have other major employers here. You can, um, you have Morgan Olson, you have Goodyear, you have Sova Health, you have Butoni, um, just to name a few of those large companies that are here in the area with others to be announced. But I can tell you who that is right now. Now, another important announcement that I wanna share when we're talking about the economy is the United States Navy's Advanced Training Defense Manufacturing Program. That program is gonna train 800 to 1,000 students. And their goal is to be open in 2025, but they wanna reintroduce some skilled labor. So you think about, um, you think about welding, when you think about CNC machining, um, quality control, those type of hands-on jobs that have almost disappeared. But you know, skilled trades. So that is what the United States Navy has partnered with the city of Danville to do. So that's a great reason for you to consider moving to this area is that the economy is growing and it's growing exponentially. Now, one thing I cannot leave out is the spirit of entrepreneurship here in the city of Danville, Virginia. Just a few minutes ago, I told you about the 150 plus businesses that have opened downtown alone. Well, that's not all. I mean, you can open a company, you can start a business at home. Um, you can go through the, um, the River District's uh, Dream Launch Boot Camp that is coming up pretty soon. So kudos to our economic development uh, chairs and employees. Big shout out to the River District Association and to the Longwood Small Business Development Center right here in Danville, Virginia. So if you have that spirit of entrepreneurship and you're looking for an area where you can reintroduce a new product, a new service, a new restaurant, a new clothing store, anything, the sky is the limit for you because here in Danville, Virginia, we are entrepreneur friendly. The fourth reason why Danville, Virginia should be home for you in 2024 is the scenic beauty and the outdoors. I'm telling you, this, this winter has been something else. It has been brutally cold <laughs> the last few days. This week alone, our kids were out of school for three days. Now, one, because we had some torrential rain hit the area and flooding was an issue uh, in some parts of the city. But it has been cold here, my friends. Uh, it's been down in the low double digits a few nights. And we're looking for spring to come around because people here, we love being outside. So when you're thinking about the Parks and Recreation Department, oh man, oh man. I just told you about the Riverfront Park that they're doing downtown. So yes, splash pads, concerts, um, you can hang out with neighbors and listen to music, walk out on the pier into the river. But Danville's Parks and Recs, they have over 12 parks in this area. You have three major parks and then you have nine neighborhood parks. Um, shelters can be rented out at the parks. Uh, in Late in the year, we do a national night out. But when you think about mountain biking, we have Angler's Ridge Mountain Bike Trail, which has over 30 miles of trails from one end to the other. We also have over in Baloo Park, a disc golf course. You have nine recreational, a nine hole recreational area, and then you have an 18 hole competitive course also. 
down on the Dan River. You can go over to a Brew Grogan Boathouse. You can rent boats to ride up and down the river. Then you have the Philip Wyatt Memorial Skate Park, which is open from dusk to dawn. So if you like to hop on a skateboard and you go up some ramps, I never try because I'll break something. But if that's you, we got a huge skate park, man. I've been out there and it's pretty dope. Then you have the zip line and high rope course. So you can zip line if you like. I'm gonna have to try that this year. But then you have the rope course where you can, you know, climb up and do little things, whatever it is, that is pretty, pretty cool, especially if you like being outside. And then you have the Riverwalk Trail. On the trail, we have different events. You can have uh, bike races, trail runs, marathons, charity walks. So being outdoors is a big deal, especially when you have a, a body of water that runs through town. So maybe you like to fish like I do. You just want to get out on a boat like I do. Well, you're in luck because you can go to Haiko Lake, which is about 20 to 25 minutes um, southeast of here. Get out on a boat out there. You can go out to Kerr Reservoir or Bugs Island, as the locals call it. You can go fishing, you can go boating, tubing, uh, skiing, whatever it is, man, the sky's the limit. We just like being outdoors. So that is a great reason why I think you should make a move to Danville, Virginia. And our last and final, but highly important reason for you to make Danville, Virginia your home, and I know you're gonna get a kick out of this, so stick with me, lean in a little bit. Affordability and cost of living. Danville is one of those few places left in the United States, but definitely in the state of Virginia, where you can still purchase a renovated home for you and your family under $150,000. Did you hear what I just said? You can purchase a renovated home for you and your family under $150,000. Yes, that's what I said. Now, you can find you a very, very, very nice home under $200,000 here in the city of Danville, Virginia. Our real estate taxes are 84 cents per $100, which is significantly lower than anywhere else that I've ever seen. But I want to give you, I want to give you some facts. So I'm going to read a screen for you, okay? The cost of living in Danville, Virginia, compared to the national average, when you look at energy cost, is 18% below the national average. The cost of food is 28% below the national average. Healthcare is 10% below the national average. Housing is 11% below, and transportation cost is 17.5% below the national average. So when you look at cities, in California, in DC, in Florida, in Texas, then you have to, this comparison has to come into play. Now we get a lot of clients from California, from Texas, and from New York who call us looking to move here. And we love getting those calls. And you can see why. From San Francisco to Danville, Virginia, look at the cost of living comparison. We are 92.4% cheaper than San Francisco. Looking at DC, we are 51.1% cheaper than Washington DC. Look at Dallas, Texas. We are 13% cheaper than Dallas, Texas. And Miami, Florida, 21%. New York, almost 83%. Cost of living difference moving here to Danville, Virginia. So, I want you to think about this. Think about this. When you're thinking about David, what's a good place I can move to where my family can be safe? I can meet new neighbors and friends. The opportunity there is prime for me to start a new company. Um, I love being outside because I'm coming from a warmer state. So being outside is great for me and my family. Um, or I'm coming from up north and it is cold here and I like to experience all four seasons. And I want my money to stretch a little further than what it has been in the past, especially from where I'm coming from. You know, I wanna be able to 
enjoy life with my family. I want to be able to buy a nice and decent house for way below than what I paid for my last house. Again, $200,000 can take you a long way here in the city of Danville and in the surrounding areas. So I want you to think about it. I want you to give me a call after you think about it and say, David, I think it's time that me and my family get in touch with you because we want to make the jump. We hear all of the hype about Danville, Virginia. We hear about the casino. We hear about the white meal. We hear about the people. We hear about downtown. Well, guess what? It's true. And I'm here to tell you, I'm living proof. I'm here in Danville, Virginia right now telling you that I think this is the city for you. So this, again, this is David Totten, licensed agent with EXP Realty here in Danville, Virginia. I'm licensed also in North Carolina. So if you are thinking about making that move to this area from California, Texas, Florida, New York, or DC, don't hesitate to reach out. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Matter of fact, click the link in the, in the description below and schedule a Zoom meeting with me. And I will get you in touch with all of the right people that you need to in order to make your move smooth to Danville, Virginia. This is David Totten. Until we see you in the next video, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed learning about the um, economic development, the rehabilitation efforts that are going on, the economy, the outdoors, and the cost of living. Till we see you in the next video. Take care, man. God bless. Bye-bye.